Greetings, everyone. This is a quick explanation of the discussion assignment that um, is designed to be quite simple and simply to expose you to the enormous quantity and great variety of Chicano literature uh, since the uh, 19th century to the present day, Chicano as well as Latino um, uh, literature. And so without further ado, I'd like to just walk you through what you'll be doing on a website that is um, the basis of this discussion assignment and how to navigate the website and what you need to do once you've selected a book cover um, to find out a little bit more about it. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I hope what you're seeing is a screen with a number of book covers on it. So you can see here the early, the most recent is um, in the upper left corner. So this is a wonderful website um, put together by a professor at um, UC Merced. And it is designed to give you a very visual sense of the number and diversity of uh, Chicano literature and you've been reading this last week, a very famous work of Chicano literature, The House on Mango Street. And so now you're going to kind of see that text in its um, big, big family of other texts. So once you're on this site, what you need to do is to just kind of get your bearings. Um, the, the link in the discussion will take you directly here. And just kind of think about what look at the pictures and kind of see what the images tell you about time and development of aesthetics and identity, even on book covers and how they change. It's um, our visual way of knowing the world is uh, very hard to articulate, um, but it is an enormous source of knowledge and it's not an accident that this professor has chosen to present these texts visually first. So let's suppose I decide on 1991. I can click on that. And then we have large, a whole number of texts from 1991 that are selected as examples of Chicano literature. And what you should do is just kind of look at them, look at the titles, Woman of Hollering Creek. Oh, look, we got lucky. The House on Mango Street right here. And decide on a cover that looks interesting to you. Let's say I choose Woman of Hollering Creek. Oh, that's actually Sandra Cisneros. So no, I think I'll choose someone other than the author we've been focusing on. How about First Confession by Montserrat Font? So once you've selected your cover, then you need to make note of the last name of the author, Fontes, and you can find it up below in alphabetical order, here, Fontes, and just copy it. And then go to whatever web browser you're using and do a search in Google or whatever you prefer. And you see First Confession in this case appears right in Amazon Books. So it also has, there's a book review about it here in Publishers Weekly. So there's several places you can go. So let's just go to Amazon because you, most of you know Amazon very well. And then if you click, um, you can just see a little bit about it. Mexican-American writer Fontes tells a startling tale of the clashes between men and women, rich and poor, Mexican and American, in this dark story of life just south, south of the Texas border. Two spoiled children, the willful Andrea and her cousin Victor, um, take up uh, spying and stealing and leads to tragic consequences. So you can think if you maybe look inside the book, decide if this is a book you want to present as your presentation. Notice you can scroll through and see quite 
a lot of the book just in the um, page in the um, Amazon viewer. And <clears throat> then you would go to the discussion, then you would take a screenshot. So let's go back to where we were. And first confession was it here. So you can just um, take a screenshot, which if you hit um, start shift four, you can take an isolated screenshot so that you have it all by itself. And then you will post to um, here in the new discussion group as usual. Just save this. And here we are. So then you'll go to upload image right here. And you can go to your screenshots, which typically, if you're on an Apple, will show up on your desktop. And you can open it, and there you have it. And then you submit it. And then you just write a little bit about what the book is about um, and share it with the class. And if you want to add, if this is an example of telling or naming, that's wonderful. If you want to do a bit more research about the book, um, that's wonderful too. But the idea is that as a whole, our class of uh, 30 plus students will each be selecting a book from this large body of material and sharing it with one another and providing a very brief description that you can find online about the book. Another example, just before I um, abandon you to your own devices, let's go back. So notice you can go to the home button at the base, takes you back to all of the books. Let's go to a really old one, let's say one from, I don't know, let's see, I, from 1834. And this one is all by itself. It opens up alone. Um, there's only one book from 1834. And so you don't need to scroll down and find the list of names, it's just one. So let's copy that and see what happens if we look up this really old book. And voila, it looks like it's been published again in a later edition. Um, and you can find some information about the book by just scrolling through your Google search. You might want to put in, you can see it's been translated, Journey to the United States, um, and find out a little bit of information about it and share it with your peers. This is a university website. Oh, it looks like it's got a whole article about it, really interesting. So you can copy and paste directly from a website. And this actually has a really rich discussion of this, the literary context of this um, book. And so that's quite a little treasure to have found. Okay. All right, so that is just an explanation of how to navigate a fairly straightforward um, website. And I look very forward to seeing what book you select. If you have any trouble or are concerned or confused about any part of this project, just send me um, an email through Canvas is what I see right away because it pops up on my, on my cell phone, which I have at all times with me. And um, if you send it to the other email, it takes me longer because they, I don't have the pop-up function. And so, but I, this shouldn't take you long. It should be a pretty quick assignment, maybe 15 minutes. And um, then we'll have a big collage of your choices all together on our discussion board. And um, go ahead and read the rest of the discussion um, instructions, peer response and so forth that you've done before. All right, wonderful. I look forward to seeing all of your I'm posting soon. Thank you.